Work, 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 work. Chris is me have to work, 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 work. Chris is me do me der, 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 der. So me better work, 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 work. I had his back. The S was had a wisdom. Welcome back, bro. Welcome back, buddy. Of course, I don't wear this outside because windy is winter, and of course, black people do not thrive in the cold because y'all stole us from Africa and brought us here. <laughs> Why? Why? And now we're stuck to make videos on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, let me stop joking around because this video is pretty, you know, um, let me speak on my, my thoughts on the fitness community because I actually did speak to a couple of people about this over the past couple of months and I've people been having some of the same thoughts as I've been having lately. This thought came about mostly when I watched that YouTube Rewind, which was beautiful. That last one, you guys saw that last one. It, it, it was pretty sick. I, I enjoyed that. I watched it like 10 times because it gave me butterflies in my stomach. I was like, damn, I want to be on that YouTube Rewind one day. Man, imagine I could represent the SOS family on the YouTube Rewind. That would be so sick. But of course, I am in the only freaking YouTube genre that is not featured in YouTube Rewind, which is why these thoughts really start popping up in my head. Everything was on the YouTube Rewind, from gaming, from vlogging, entertainment skits, comedy, music, you name it, everything else was on the YouTube Rewind. You know, I still love my fitness. I still love calisthenics. I love training people. As a matter of fact, I started my online coaching for free uh, for, for a good bit. I haven't announced it, because I have more than enough people to choose from to train. I'm capping it at a certain amount of people. So I have more than enough. So I didn't announce it to you guys. So I don't even talk about my website. My website is even in the description, but that's beyond the point. Anyway, you know, the content creation on YouTube, I still love fitness, but I feel like we ain't pushing that content creation that even gets us really recognized as content creators. Like we're just, we, I, I, I feel like we don't even get recognized as vloggers, bruh. Vloggers, if you guys, this, you, this camera set, right here this camera setup right here was inspired by Casey Neistat this is my main camera here um, this is a Canon rebel I used to have a 70d but that camera um, but this camera broke he is like one of the biggest vloggers out there this guy gets like a hundred thousand plus views within the first two hours We're Ridiculous. Oh, and you guys, oh man, you guys know Roman Atwood, that vlogger. This guy gets 1.5 million views per day, like per vlog. And he vlogs like every day. That's freaking, you know, that's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. He so passes that 10% rule that I have. Now, the 10% rule that I'm talking about is within the first day, 24 hours that you upload a video, the total, the views that you should get on that video should make up 10% of the total amount of subscribers that you have. So, for example, I am on Michael Corey's uh, YouTube page right now, okay? I'm on his page right now, and... I'm looking at all of his videos that he uploaded recently. Like, so his his, mo his most recent like 18 videos, and, and on average, what I'm seeing within this past month, bro, this month, he's been averaging around 25,000 views. Okay, so within a month, he's only averaging 25,000 views. That's 10% of his of his subscribers, and of course. 10% of subscribers aren't even watching because some of those views come from people who visit his channel. So we can knock it down to like 8%, okay? So around 8% of 250,000 subscribers is watching Michael Corey. All the other 92% ain't even there. And I'm just gonna give 2% to those who visit his channel and probably just click off, right? Because everybody has those, right? For me, I have what 9,400 I woke up and I had over 9,400 I'm like oh cool I don't even really get happy about my sub count anymore it's just like uh, let me not speak on that I'll speak on that like in the next video but on average when I upload a video I always say yo Simon you better get like 940 views on this video within the first 24 hours or damn near close to it hopefully over that right and I do get around there so relative to Michael Corey you guys watch my videos more than his subscribers watch his videos if that makes any sense but of course his channel is still doing better than mine 
uh, in terms of like just total views, of course it's doing better. Relatively, it's not doing better, which still gives me some type of hope. Of course, you have the big YouTube channels like Chris Jones, CG, Cali Muscle, Matt Ogus, Omar Isaf, uh, and Hodge Twins, who are freaking hilarious. Like, oh, you guys have to see that video that they made recently about uh, I don't want to go down anymore. Yo, Kevin killed me. I have. Oh my gosh. Like, that's the, those are the videos I enjoy. I laugh, and this gives me a good feeling. YouTube fitness, the content creation is just lacking. It's a basic. It's the same shit in every single channel. And I feel like my channel is slowly going to become that. And I'm still trying to figure out, okay, how the hell am I going to change the game so I can end up in that YouTube Rewind, so I can get that recognition at this YouTube Fan Fest outside of Fitness Expos. You feel me? Like, I really want I really want to change the game. Now, of course, I still love gaming. I'm going to start that gaming channel. I'm going to start my other channel too, my miscellaneous channel, where just the videos where I'm talking to the camera will go on I just need to find that passion again for content creation and I, I, I just wish a lot of the YouTube f the community enjoyed that you know I look at someone like vegan games I, I don't even know if he hates me now because like I, I diss vegans but I diss them in a I don't diss them in a I hate you guys you guys are stupid as hell I just diss them in a I diss them like the way I diss meat eaters I just don't take any sides I'm neutral I'm me I just speak my mind I don't care how people feel I'm just not gonna like super try to offend you by calling your mama a, a bitch or something. But but pretty much uh, this guy, he changed the game. That's why he gets so many freaking views. He gets more views than Elliot Hulse. He gets he gets views on par with Trish Jones and all them people. And he only been on YouTube for like a year? A year or two or something like that? Shit. This guy this guy grew. This guy grew. Okay? And he changed it. He doesn't even make, he barely makes workout videos. But his videos are so controversial. He doesn't give a shit about what people think. And he gets his views. He gets his money. This guy's living well, bro. He's living well. I wish I, I, I wish I was in his position without, like, you know, doing what he, he did to get there. But it's just crazy. It's crazy. I'm just like, yo, so I, I'm stuck. I feel stuck sometimes. And you know what? I think I'll just continue this video in the next one where I actually go more in depth on my personal conflict with this YouTube fitness community. So yeah, uh, you know, I'll talk to y'all next time. Stay blessed, comment down below, tell me what you guys think. And I hope you guys actually watched this entire video. So yeah, I'm out of here. Done. Oh, yeah.